Hello, my name is Ore Zub and I'm currently in Mustyska, which is a small town west of Lviv next to the Polish border. And as you can see behind me, there is a field hospital which was opened here thanks to Israeli uh, support. So let's take a look what's happening around and to understand better how this kind of aid is operating in Ukraine. Hello, hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you can you explain us what, what what's happening here? This is a civilian field hospital, which uh, the state of Israel and its people sent to help uh, Ukrainians in uh, in the time of need. How did the system work? Like, when did you arrive here, and why did you decide to set up the hospital in Mostyska town? Uh, that I don't know. Uh, this is the I'm part of the third uh, envoys here. Uh, there have been uh, two prior uh, cycles of envoys. We have been here for about eight days now. What kind of equipment did you bring here? Do you do any surgeries? Uh, what kind of cases are you treating in this hospital? And uh, who can come here from where people usually come from? Well, I'm not a surgeon, but we have surgeons here. We have orthopedic surgeons, general surgeons, uh, gynecologists, uh, two of them who are mainstream professors in our country. We basically do everything we can in a hospital using the facilities of a hospital nearby. We don't have an operating room here in this field hospital, but uh, the local hospital is about 300 meters from here, and we do, the surgeries are done there. Our anesthesiologists with our equipment, with uh, their expertise of the surgeons. Can you show us around to, to have a better understanding which kind of uh, like rooms, facilities, how do you um, maybe you know choose people in which rooms do they stay and so on yes I can but first I need to ask the heads of the uh, sure uh, if they permit it okay so we can go and ask here guys you can see it's a typical Ukrainian school in one of the smaller towns Soviet architecture yes and uh, as we see yeah on the actually the back uh, the backyard of the school the entire large section of this uh, mobile hospital have been opened, so I'm very curious uh, to see uh, what's uh, the situation inside of those uh, tents and hopefully they will be able to, to show us how this uh, entire uh, section is operating. So basically this is the entrance where the patients enter, here they get uh, stickers, uh, who doesn't have a mask because of COVID everyone gets a mask, and they come through here towards the entrance where they get registered. Mm-hmm. People come over here, yeah. Here we have a local registrar who registers the people who come and our own registrar who registers them into the hospital, as admitted to the hospital. Over here there's a triage area. Triage is a concept of emergency medicine. I am an emergency physician, by the way. It is a concept of emergency medicine of selecting the patient, where the patient needs to go. The, uh, so the reception, uh, kind of, here. It's not yeah, a reception. No? That's the reception. Triage is you, uh, the severity of the illness, the velocity a patient needs to get attention, and what kind of attention. It's w one of the most important things in every emergency room. It's, it's essential to maintain a constant flow and a, 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 an adequate flow of the patients to where they need to get. This looks pretty quiet over here. Like, where are the people? Does well, that mean you, you treated everybody already, or uh, which is a good sign? I hope so. We treat around 200 people per day to get here. Uh, the numbers have been going down, unfortunately. We would like them to get up. We're here to treat people, and uh, we don't have a timetable. We treat until nobody comes anymore. About 20 minutes ago, they stopped coming, and we closed the, uh, the hospital. We do have also, uh, have had last night a case of, uh, of an emergency delivery in the hospital at 1 a.m., so we went there, and we helped deliver. Yeah, this is where we have primary physicians, quick diagnosis and uh, it, easy treatment for people who are not very sick but do need medical attention. Okay. So basically anybody can come anybody here and you will come. provide help? Anybody can come, they're all welcome. We can receive everyone with a big hug and we just want to help and treat. We're all professionals, it's our profession, we do this at home and we're here to do it because we want to help people. 
So, so guys, like uh, as you see, they are well prepared here. And you, if you are in Lviv, which is a densely populated city, Mosteska is only like one hour drive. If you don't want to wait in line in Lviv or other areas of Western Ukraine, you are more than welcome to come to Mosteska. I am going to provide the exact location next to this video where you can come, address uh, to help and and receive all the necessary professional medical assistance by Israeli doctors who are actually among the best one in the world. People who need uh, more like a primary care physician, we have an outpatient clinic with four physicians here and nurses. This is mother of the world. This is a more, the, the patients who cannot sit or stand, who need maybe a, a bit of more intensive care. This is uh, my, my room. I had this part of the emergency uh, room. Do a lot of ultra diagnostic ultrasounding here. Me, uh, Dr. Eisenberg, who is the head of the whole emergency part here, um, we do most of the diagnostic ultrasounds. We have a rheumatologist who does the uh, diagnostic ultrasound of rheumatology. Uh, this is our crash unit where we can uh, attend to uh, the more severe uh, cases, been to trauma, we have had here heart attacks, we have, uh, strokes, we have all the equipment to treat any kind of severe illness or situation and we are prepared to do so. So you can accommodate uh, like up to 200 people uh, as I heard, yeah? Or no, even more. Even more at even the same more. time. The, not at the same time. We're talking about flow during flow, the, day of the, of the day. Uh, we don't have many beds here. We do have uh, three wards uh, within the complex of the school with uh, beds for hospitalized patients. We have had uh, several hospitalized patients. Uh, two, uh, one was sent already to Israel for uh, continued. There's a girl who was injured uh, with shrapnel to her, to her legs, uh, and several fractures and she uh, arrived in Israel two days ago for further operations and rehabilitation. There's a little girl, a five-year-old girl, which we diagnosed here with a severe heart defect, and uh, we got her admitted to the Heart for Every Child program in the Wolfson Hospital in Israel, which is specialized in a pediatric cardiac uh, surgery, and she will reach in the next few weeks, I hope, uh, Israel and get operated on. A really, really sweet girl. Uh, five-year-old by the way and we do try to do the best we can here what we cannot do we uh, if we cannot you get help of the local hospitals we send to Israel uh, for a uh, continued more advanced and uh, as I understood like uh, people don't stay here overnight right so we most do have hospitalization do. at the moment we do have one hospital patient we had have had more when people don't need to be more in the hospital and they have somewhere mm -hmm. to go they get released. Uh, we have had several hospitalizations here, uh, ranging from uh, pediatric patients, some trauma, some infectious diseases we have had, congestive heart failure uh, patients admitted here. Uh, we also have patients who have nowhere to go and they stay mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. uh, for food and somewhere who want to, to sleep. All right, so this classroom is turned into the barracks of people who came all the way from Israel to Ukraine. Is this the place where you're staying? Yes. Oh, wow. Would you be able to, to be here? Here to, to see how they work, how they exist in this interesting place, which is, used to be school, I understand. Just normal Ukrainian school in a small village, big village. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can see uh, like the Polyovay Spital Star Mayor, like the field hospital from the Israeli delegation to Mosteska, and those are the um, signatures of people who were treated here? No, doctors. That's doctors, okay. The By the way, guys, this is a regular Ukrainian school, and uh, together with the tour of the hospital, you will see how the schools actually look like in Ukraine. People are resting. This is uh, the corner of Tarashevchenko, our most prominent poet, and actually he, all the way back in the first half of the 19th century was written very important words. Which actually in translation to English means uh, the message to the girls make love to everyone but not with the Russians because we know who they are and this war actually showed exactly the real face of them. These are like regular some doors to the classrooms and also 
many, many different poems of Taras uh, Shevchenko. So uh, you see, typical Ukrainian school. Everything is prepared over here. There are stuff everybody can just take, have a snack, have a coffee. So you see very professionally everything equipped. Why at the moment it is so quiet? Do you think like people simply don't know about this facility or uh, it's think, harder for them to get? Like what's the reason behind it? I think I think that uh, people here in the area here do know about the facility. We have had people come from Lviv, not many. We have had yesterday two people who drove 300 kilometers to get here and be visited by us, which was really heartwarming. Uh, I hope more people would, should know about this and come here and if they need, of course, and get treated. I know is there are festivities uh, at the moment for the Christian religion. We are Jewish, and then we don't know the uh, festivities, but maybe that is uh, a factor that um, uh, people want to stay at home, maybe not come to Oslo, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. But we are open here all the time. If everyone needs, we get here. Is it possible to get to know information about your place somewhere online? Do you have like social media profiles or some website or a phone number where people can call and just make a prior uh, like arrangement or they simply just we, shoot? We have, we have Eden. Eden has all that information. So like the, the phone number is the way to reach you, yeah? Yes. Okay. On so, WhatsApp. So guys, the phone number will be also provided next to this video. And if you know that somebody might need help, uh, please share it with them. Uh, as I told, I will put the location of the hospital uh, in Mustiska, and that can be like a really uh, safe, uh, sa safe changer for many people who can get uh, professional and fast uh, medical assistance. Please come to Mustiska, and I'm very, very grateful for this enormous support you are providing, guys. The simply you incredible. Very much. And uh, another sign that the entire world is supporting Ukraine at the moment. See you soon in the upcoming videos. Stay safe.